friends, and welcome to French Ride Trains. Today, we're going to be building another Norfolk Southern Heritage unit, and we're going to be building NS8100, the Nickel Plate Road Heritage unit here. And this is an ES44 AC. So let's get right into the build here. So we'll start off on the rear end, and the first step is to put three polished blackstone across the bottom middle. Then an upside down polished blackstone stair on either side of it. Then five polished blackstone above it. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, we're going to do a sideways dark oak vents gate. Then we'll put two lightning rods here, two here. Then we'll take out the inner ones and open a dark oak vents gate on either side of the coupler. Then come in front of it and do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone in the center. Then hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. And in front of that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side here. Then we'll put three oak slabs coming up this gap, three across the top here, and three on this side. Then we're gonna come in front of this, skip one block forward, and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, two rows of five deep slate tile slabs coming out to each side. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, and another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs coming out to each side. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and at this end here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck. We're gonna come out one block past these fence gates, then put three on the bottom. And coming off the bottom, we're gonna put a row of upside down outward facing polished black stone stairs. And that's gonna be 15 blocks long in total. Then at this end, we're going to put three polished blackstone across here. And then same thing on this side, 15 upside down polished blackstone stairs to frame in the fuel tank over here. Then come back up top and continue filling the top middle three with polished blackstone. And we'll stop at the front of the fuel tank. In front of this, we'll skip one block forward get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle and then on the upper hip box two rows of five deep slate tile slabs coming out to each side again then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle and another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs on the upper hip box then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and at this end down here then continue filling the top middle three on the second layer with polished blackstone, and we'll stop above these fence gates. In front of it, we're gonna do a five by three of polished blackstone. In front of that, a T shape in the center, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three polished blackstone stairs on the bottom middle, and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the center, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three oak slabs coming up this side, three on this top middle, three coming up this side. Take out a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to this second block in the center for the coupler. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we need to get a lightning rod. And we're gonna put two lightning rods here two here, then take out the inner ones and open a dark oak bench gate on either side of the coupler here. Now come through on the sides of the truck, everywhere there's a wheel put a hopper in front of it. Same thing here, then do the other side, and here. Then we need to go back and get a deep slate tile slab again, and we're gonna put a slab above each of the three hoppers. 
then do the same thing here. Then over here. And up here. Now, my front end is facing the void, making this the conductor side. So on this conductor side up here on the fuel tank, put a full row of polished black stone. At the back, put a brewing stand here. At the front, put a bell here. Then come over to this side. On this side, we're gonna put three polished black stone on the front, two on the back, and a brewing stand behind it. Then right here, we'll do four sideways anvils, and up here, we'll do five. Then a player head in the center. Up here, a player head, a mangrove sign, mangrove button. On this side, aligned with the gap on the other side, we'll put a player head, mangrove sign, and a mangrove button. Then we need to come in and we need to have chains and grindstones. Put a grindstone here and here, also here and here. Come to the back truck, do the same thing, one here, one here, one here, one here. Then we'll take chains and we're going to put a sideways chain here and here, also here and here. Then come up to the front truck and repeat the process with the chains. Make sure they're going sideways here. Then we'll come up top and we'll fill the whole top middle three on the third layer, end to end, with polished blackstone. Then grab yellow concrete here, and on the top outside edge, we're gonna do a full line end to end of yellow concrete up here. Then come to the other side and do the same thing, a full line of yellow concrete on this top outside edge going end to end here. Then we'll come back up to the front end. We're gonna come on top of the front on the third block in. Right here, we're gonna put a column of two black concrete, a door, and fill the rest of this two high with black concrete. Then a black concrete on the top middle, and an outward facing polished black snow stair on either side of it. Behind this, two black concrete on each side, three across the top middle, and then a forward facing polished black stone stair here and here. Then come around on this side, on the bottom, we're going to do a black concrete, two sideways observers, black concrete. On this side, black concrete, two black shulker boxes, black concrete. Then, on the next layer up, we'll do black concrete, two yellow, and a black. Same thing on this side here. Then above that, four black concrete on the top of each side. Then over here, two cyan stained glass, black concrete, two glass. Then a white stained glass pane here and here, and two cyan stained glass panes on either side, and a black concrete behind those. Then we're gonna fill the top middle three with black concrete up here to the back of the cab, and then four outward facing polished black stone stairs on either side of the top here. Then coming off the top middle of the cab here, run a line of seven black concrete up the center. Then two cobbled deep slate, two iron bars on either side of it. On this side up here at the front, we'll do a black concrete, sideways observer, black concrete with a dark oak sign on it, two sideways observers, two black concrete. On this side, start at the front, do two black concrete, three sideways observers, two black concrete. Then we're gonna come up under here in this corner, do a column of two black concrete and then a door. And then we're gonna fill this all into the top with black concrete and bring it down to the back of this section here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, one block in from the edge, start behind the cab and fill it up to the top with black concrete and bring it to the back of this section here. Then we'll come over on this side under where the door is. Do two black shulker boxes, two concrete, two shulker boxes, concrete. Then one concrete up under the door so you can actually get up there. Then we'll come and do the other side. 
On this side, starting by the cab, do a line of seven black concrete coming back. And we'll raise that up so it's three blocks tall and seven long. In this corner, a deep slate top wall. Then come to the back end on the third block in in the center. Do a pattern of black concrete like this. And we need to raise it up until it's five blocks tall there. Then come in front of this in the center. And we're gonna use cobbled deep slate, three blocks tall, and then we're gonna make it eight blocks long. Then take deep slate tile walls and a column of three walls, every other block on the side of this, like that. Then in the bottoms between all of them, we'll put black shulker boxes, then iron bars, and then on the tops of all of them, we're gonna put yellow concrete. Then this other side is slightly different. Back here, two black shulker boxes, two black concrete, close the trap door right here for the brake wheel. Then two yellow concrete. Then a column of deep slate tile walls, every other block. Black shulker boxes on the bottoms, iron bars in the middle, yellow concrete on top. Then we'll raise black concrete, three blocks tall, and fill in this whole side up to the front here. Same thing on this side, black concrete, three blocks tall. Then we're gonna come up here and do another layer of black concrete from the back all the way to the front. Same thing on this side, another full layer of black concrete from the back up to the front here. Then we're gonna come on top of the back and put two black concrete coming out to the side so it sticks out like this. And then two on this side so it's sticking out on this side. Then in front of that, we're gonna do another five black concrete coming forward and do the same thing on this side. Then we'll come underneath it here and put five upside down, deep slate tile stairs like this. Do the same thing under here, five stairs right here. Then on this top outside edge right here, we'll put four right side up polished black stone stairs here, four here. Then go back to black concrete, three across here, three across here, two on each side, and in the middle two cobbled deep slate. Then on top of that, two iron trap doors and surround it with polished black stone slabs. Then run slabs up the center to the very back here, one on each side. So it's like that. Then on these side gaps, fill it with deep slate tile slabs on each side for the actual vents. Then under here, two deep slate tile slabs here, two here. Then up here, a three by three of black concrete and a daylight sensor in the center for the exhaust. Then in front of this, three polished black stone stairs here. Turn around, three facing this way here. Then go to polished black stone slabs. Two rows right here. Then two on each side, three across here. In this gap, put two black concrete and open back-to-back -back vents gates in it for the horn. Now we'll come up front and take out black carpet the T-shape on this front porch. Then one on either side up here and a T-shape on top of the nose. Three across here. Two quartz slabs in the center. Two levers on either side going into each other. Behind it, back to black carpet and fill it all three wide up here until you cover these iron bars. Then come back here, go around this with black carpet. And then on each outside edge back here. Then we'll come down here, put a row of black carpet on top of this inverter box, and then all the way down this walkway to the back. Come around here, a T-shape on the end. Come around here and keep bringing your carpet all the way up this side. Then we need to get it up on this and on that stair, and then crouch and get them on these shulker boxes here. 
Then we're going to come on the side above this yellow concrete, put a dark oak sign with 81, and then another one with 00. zero. Hit those with yellow dye and a glowing set. Do the same thing over here, a dark oak sign with 81, then a dark oak sign with 00. zero. Hit them with yellow dye and a glow ink set. Then we're going to come to the rear end, up here, put a dark oak sign here with 8100, one on the opposite side, and we'll hit those with yellow dye and a glow ink sack each. Now take out oak fences, right here come up four, here we're going to come up three, over one, up two. And same thing on this side, up three, over one, up two, and here come up four. Then two dark oak fences here, two here. Then we'll come up to the front and switch back to oak. Here come up four, here come up three, over one, up two. Here come up three, over one, up two. Here come up four. Then two dark oak fences here, two here. Then we'll come to the back with our dark oak fence, attach it up right here and start bringing it forward. When we get right here, we come up three and then bring it over to connect with the cab. Then we're gonna come over here, come to the back on this side with dark oak fence, attach it up and start bringing it forward. When we get here, come up one, start coming over again, then right here, up one and over one. Now we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom and we'll have a black banner with yellow dye. We're gonna put three horizontal stripes on it, then a new banner. We're gonna do a diagonal and then put yellow in the opposite corners. The new banner, do the opposite diagonal and then yellow in the opposite corners of that one. And then we'll come place these. So come on the middle of the back, right here the stripe ones, and then the opposite diagonal ones on either side in a pattern like this. Then go back to the stripe one, one here and here, come in front of this and do a full row of these stripe ones coming forward. When we get here we'll have to come to the outside of this box, and bring it right up to here, then one here. Then, on the front of the nose, two stripe ones like this. Then one on the side right here and here. Come back here and start putting them all at this level and bringing it back. And then one back here. Then we'll come back up to the nose, put this diagonal one on the side here, and then the opposite one, two of them like this, for the caution stripes. Then we have one more banner to make here. So we're gonna come back into our loom with a black banner and yellow dye. And we're just gonna put a horizontal on top. And this will extend our stripe in these gaps. So two of them here, two of them here. Now we're going to come up here, start right here, we're going to knock out three, put in gold blocks. Skip one, knock out three, put in gold blocks, skip one, knock out two, and gold blocks. And that represents the lettering because there's no way to fit it on this size of locomotive. Then we got to do the same thing on this side, so we'll knock out three, put in gold, Skip one, knock out three, put in gold. Skip one, knock out two, 
put in gold. Then we'll come to the back end for some detailing. Down here, a glow item frame on either side with a frog light. And then one on the center up here with a frog light. Then we'll come up front for some more detailing here. On either side of these fences, glow item frame with a frog light. Then on this top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. On either side of that, do a birch sign with 8100. And then we need a glow ink sack and hit those with a glow ink sack. Now we'll come inside here and in this corner put an end portal. Then stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window here and on this side. Then stack the slabs up two blocks tall on the side here, two blocks tall on the back center, two blocks tall on this side. In the center, use your slabs to make stairs going down. Back here, a blast furnace and a frog light. Then a stair on each side for seats. Then a slab over here. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal. And over here, a lever. Come down here, turn around, put a door right here. Now the inside is completed. And actually, I'm not quite liking how the side of the cab looks here. So we're gonna come up here, take out these two yellow concrete and switch them to black. And we'll do the same thing on this side, switch these two to black. And then we'll make a new banner for that gap. So come into a loom, black banner, yellow dye, and we'll just put a horizontal on top. Then we'll take those and we'll place them up under these two signs here to continue that stripe. Just so it matches a little better. And there we have it folks. We've completed Norfolk Southern 8100, the Nickel Plate Road Heritage Unit. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.